Hello students, welcome to IP study video lectures and today we are going to discuss chapter 2 from grade 6 social science that is exploring continents and oceans. So before discussing the main component of this chapter, let us have a brief discussion about its intro. So like we all know, our earth is a very unique planet. And what makes our earth a very unique planet? The existence of life on earth. No other planet in our solar system, there is life. But in our earth, there is life. One of the main reasons for existence of life on earth is the presence of water. Yes, about 71% or nearly three-fourths of our earth's surface is covered with water. And this is the reason our earth looks blue from space, hence the name blue planet. Now let's have a brief discussion about oceans. What are oceans? So oceans are vast body of salt water that covers our earth's surface, right? So apart from oceans, we also have continents. So what are continents? Continents are large land masses on the earth's surface that is surrounded by water. So now let us come to the main topic that are the continents. As we already discussed, continents are large land masses on the earth's surface. And how many continents are there? Seven, right? If you can look at the table here, there are seven continents. And when we rank them according to their size, the Asia is the largest continent followed by Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and lastly, Australia. Yes, Australia is the smallest continent. Okay, if you can see here the size of the, and the percentage of our total land area. So as you can see in the table here, the continents have been given here and the area also has been given. If you can see the Asia is in the top and so on. So let us discuss about Asia. So Asia is the largest continent and it covers almost 30% of our Earth's surface. Okay, and the important latitudes that passes through Asia are Tropic of Cancer and Equator. Apart from this, Asia has a diverse land masses or landforms like plateaus, plains, valleys, mountains, and so on. And important rivers like Yangtze and Ganga is also in Asia. And if you can see in did you know section here, Asia is home to more than 60% of the world population. Yes, more than half of the world population lives in Asia with China and India being the two most populous countries. Okay, so now comes Europe. Just to the west of Asia lies Europe. If you can see here in the map, yes, like here, here is Europe, here is Asia. So Europe, Europe lies west to the Asia and Arctic Circle, yes, remember Arctic Circle is an important latitude that passes through it. And Europe is bordered by different uh, water bodies like Arctic Ocean in the north, Atlantic Ocean to the west and Mediterranean Sea in the south. And the land masses of Europe and Asia together is called Eurasia, yes, Eurasia. Now let us go to the Africa. Now Africa, as we have already discussed, is the second largest continent after Asia. And it is also the second most populous continent. You have to remember second most populous continent. Okay. And Africa is very unique. What makes Africa unique? The equator, the topic of Cancer and topic of Capricorn. All of these three important parallel of latitudes passes through Africa. And it does not, and no other continent in the world, these three important parallel of latitude passes together. Okay. And similarly, like uh, Asia, Africa also has a diverse landforms like the deserts, like the uh, plains, the plateaus, and so on. If you here look, uh, look at the content here, the Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert lies in Africa. Apart from this, our longest river, that is Nile, also is located in Africa. Now comes North America. It is the third largest continent by area and North, it is believed that North America and the South America, they were both connected millions of years ago. Slowly they drifted apart and, and is separated by 
Panama Canal or Isthmus of Panama. Okay. Now let us come to South America. South America is home to Andes Mountain. And what is Andes Mountain? The longest mountain range in the world. Yes. And it is also home to Amazon Forest, one of the largest forests, evergreen forest in the world. So Antarctica. Antarctica is centered around South Pole, is one of the windiest and driest continent in our planet. Okay. And it is permanently frozen. Yes, it is permanently frozen and thick sheet of ice covers it and it is one of the reason it is also called the white continent and now let us come to Australia the smallest continent as we have already discussed it is the smallest continent but apart from this it is also called an island continent why because it is surrounded by water okay and like any other continents it has also a diverse range of environment including deserts rainforest coral reef and the great barrier reef now let us see the images provided see the amazon river basin that is in the south america the antarctica and the great barrier reef that is in australia if you look at the now did you know section 98 percent of antarctica is made up of ice and there are no permanent human residents. That means no permanent settlement is there in Antarctica. See, if you can look here at the world map, different oceans and different continents has been given. So now let us discuss islands. What are islands? Islands are small landmasses completely surrounded by water. But now again, Continents are also surrounded by water. It is also land masses. The difference between island and continent is continents are very large land masses, while islands are smaller land masses that are uh, surrounded by water. And if you here, see here, the Greenland is the largest island in the world. Here is a map of a Greenland. Okay, so now there might be a thought: ki, Does India have any you know islands or not? Yes, India does have different islands and there are almost 1300 small islands in India. But the major two groups of islands in India are the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Lakshadweep Islands. Okay, now let us come to the topic of oceans. So there are five major oceans like given here, the Pacific, the Atlantic, Indian, Southern and the Arctic Oceans. And among these five, the Pacific is the largest ocean. Okay, if you can see here. So, it is so large, the Pacific is so large that all the land masses combined together, it's smaller than the Pacific. So, you can imagine how big it is. Okay, and the deepest point in our Earth's surface, that is the Mariana Trench, is also in the Pacific Oceans. Okay. Uh, and the Pacific Ocean is connected to the Arctic Ocean through the Bering Strait. So now let us come to Atlantic Ocean. That is the second largest ocean. Okay. So the second largest ocean is the Atlantic Ocean. And the shape of Atlantic Ocean is like our capital S. English letter capital S. Okay. If, uh, so look at here. S. This is the Atlantic Ocean. And it is one of the busiest ocean when it comes to handling passengers and cargo traffic. Yes. Now let us come to the Indian Ocean. And yes, it is very interesting because it is the only ocean that is named after a country. Can you guess the name of the country? Yes, so simple. India. From India, the Indian Ocean got its name. Okay. And Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal are its two northward extension of Indian Ocean, if you see here, yes, this is the northward extension of Indian Ocean, okay, the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. So now comes the Southern Ocean. So the Southern Ocean completely encircles the Antarctic, okay, and it is the it is the fourth largest ocean. If you see, see here, this is the Southern Ocean, okay. Uh, this is the Southern Ocean Sea. It encircles the Antarctic continent. So now lastly the Arctic Ocean. It is the smallest ocean and it lies to the 
साउथ ऑफ नॉर्थ पोल और इट इट एनसर्कल्स द नॉर्थ पोल ओके नॉर्थ अमेरिका यूरोप एंड एशिया इट दिस थ्री कॉन्टिनेंट्स बॉर्डर द आर्टिक ओशन ओके सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस मैरिन लाइफ सो व्हाट इज मैरिन लाइफ एज वी ऑल नो दैट मैरिन लाइफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आवर सर्वाइवल बिकॉज वी गेट सो मेनी थिंग्स फॉर मैरिन लाइफ राइट सो इफ यू कैन सी हेयर दीज आर ऑल द डिफरेंट मैरिन लाइफ वी फाइंड इन Our oceans. Look at the phytoplankton, sea grass, tuna, dolphin, whale, jellyfish, octopus, coral. These are all important, and these are our marine life. We should protect it because it not only provide us with food and other things, but yes, oxygen. As you can see, this phytoplankton plays a very important role in producing the oxygen. Okay, so we should protect it, and we should make sure that. these are all protected and our coming generation also get to witness it okay so now can you find other or name other marine animals you can share it with your friends you can discuss it with your teachers and have a bit a uh, small research about it okay so now comes oceans and disaster as we have already discussed oceans are important so why is disaster term related to ocean i have to tell you that ocean it provide us with very different thing but it also comes with disaster yes disaster is also associated with oceans okay so what are the different disaster associated with oceans firstly cyclones and what are cyclones if you, if you can see here in the image so these are violent storm it 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 is violent circulating storm with heavy rainfall and strong winds the winds are so strong that it can uproot trees destroy homes mostly in coastal areas okay cyclones are mostly formed over the warm water bodies and it mostly destroy the coastal region okay now comes tsunami we have all heard about tsunami like the in recent time japan was hit with tsunami right so what are tsunamis tsunamis are huge waves that are caused or triggered by a uh, earthquake volcanic eruption or landslide underwater okay underwater earthquake volcanic eruption or landslide so when earthquake or volcanic eruption occurs it sets a vibration which causes the water powerful wave to come toward the coastal region and flood the areas okay and tsunamis if if you can see here in the image see here this is the water coming ocean water coming and this are very huge wave and it destroys the reason coastal reason okay so now storm surge what are storm surge so storm surge are rising up of uh, ocean water during storms so when storm occurs the ocean water or sea levels also um, increases and which results into the flooding of coastal region mostly if you can see here these are all the powerful waves coming and flooding the region coastal region mostly So now lastly the coastal erosion so what is coastal erosion so coastal erosion is the gradual wearing away of the land okay and what causes this the continuous movement of ocean water if you can see here in the image see this land was like this before but due to the continuous uh, action of waves or ocean water this has been eroded and taken away so this is the coastal erosion and coastal erosion can uh, affect our ecosystem and wildlife and can erode away our shoreline so oceans and life oceans plays a very important role in our life and as we have already discussed now let us see it in detail okay so ocean has a very moderating uh, effect on the climate of the coastal region yes the climate of the coastal region is actually uh, maintained and regulated by the ocean because during the day time the when it is very warm in the coastal region the cool sea breeze comes and actually regulates and moderates the uh, weather there but on the other hand the land mass that is far away from the water bodies or ocean when it's warm there there is no such in incoming of such wind or sea breeze so it remains very hot like example delhi in summer it's very hot but if you look at the climate of bangalore or coastal region it's it's moderate it's pleasant this is the region oceans and sea breeze okay so now second point oceans are home to variety of marine life as we have already uh, discussed okay and it provides livelihood to many people yes many people 
actually pro, uh, earn their livelihood through oceans be it fishing be it tourism or other things okay as we can see it in the image here an oil rig yes it is in uh, in the ocean a sea sea and fishing industry so these are all the things that our human indulge in and it is the ocean that we rely on and we have already discussed about phytoplankton they provide oxygen to breathe they are one of the essential marine life okay and for this reason oceans are also called our planet's lungs okay apart from this ocean also provide us natural resources like oil gas mineral salt and so on as we can see here and oil rig we are extracting minerals from the ocean's bed tourism another point is tourism so tourism we all like to visit coastal region like why because of tourism we like to go there we like to enjoy have a very good time and it is us relying on ocean and so on okay so now millions of people depend on ocean for their livelihood like working in fishing shipping tourism and other related industry now if we look at here exploring india it's a very interesting segment so the ancient name for our indian ocean was ratnakara it is a sanskrit word which means the creator of gems right or the repository of jewels so yes our indian ocean was called ratnakara in ancient times so with this we have discussed the chapter we have discussed what oceans are what continents are how ocean plays a very important role in our life oceans and natural disasters also thank you